everybody, today I'm going to do another hair video for you um, because it came to my attention that my most watched video is the quick and easy hairstyles so I thought it was only right and only fair for me to do another one of those um, for those of you who are constantly asking me for very quick ways to do your hair. There's always those mornings where you're running late, you've got school or you've overslept, missed the alarm, you've got work in like 10 minutes and the last thing that you want to be spending time on is your hair when you have lots of other things that you need to be doing. So today I thought I would show you some more of my quick and easy hairstyles. First thing I have done today is washed my hair. I've used the Tresemme Platinum Strength Shampoo and Conditioner. It's actually wet. I've just taken it out of the shower, but my hair smells amazing, so good shout. I also use the Tony and Guy Prep Leave-In Conditioner. As I have quite long hair, it can get quite knotty. And if you're in a rush, the last thing you wanna be doing is brushing your hair for like five minutes which some mornings I actually end up doing. So if you're one of those people that kind of wakes up with really knotty hair, or you've got long hair um, and it's a bit unmanageable and frizzy, use a leave-in conditioner. This one is amazing, love it. Also, another lifesaver before I get onto the actual hairstyles is dry shampoo. This one is the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Dry Shampoo. I love dry shampoo as much as the next person. It's great if you're in a rush and you don't have time to wash your hair. And it's also great if you've just got freshly washed hair and you're finding it difficult to do anything with it because it can add a lot of texture and it makes it slightly easier to do some more kind of intricate styles, I guess. Okay, now onto the hairstyles. So this first hairstyle that I'm going to show you is a braid within a braid, or a plait if you prefer to call it that, which is just a simple twist on a classic easy style which takes literally a few seconds longer. I just think it looks really pretty and it adds a little something to an otherwise quite standard braid. The way I've done this is to simply just plait one tiny section of my hair and then incorporate that into the three strands and then just with a normal braid you're taking one piece underneath and into the middle and then from the other side and into the middle until it looks a little something like this. I just think it looks quite nice um, and then obviously you can cut the little elastic band out which I totally forgot to do. Hairstyle number two is one that you actually see me wearing quite often. Um, it's just taking half of your hair and putting it up into a simple ponytail. Um, you can either leave it like this, I quite like to pull out bits of hair and make it look slightly more messy and because my hair was quite freshly washed I wanted to do that anyway. And then I'm turning this into a bun, so just twisting the hair and quite messily to be honest just wrapping it around the actual ponytail and using another hairband just securing that in place and again just kind of playing around with it a bit make it the shape you want it to be stick a few bobby pins in there just to give it the perfect shape although to be honest there is no such thing as the perfect bun I think the messier the better you can either leave it like this um, or I thought it would be quite sweet to pop a little bow in the front because it looks quite cute look at that so cute um, or you can use a scrunchie you know bring the 90s back a little bit add a scrunchie and you're done. For this next one, you're gonna want a hairband. Now it can be decorative, so I've got some flowers on mine, or it can be plain, it's totally up to you. And I've just done this and popped it through like you normally would if you were gonna wear it, just to kind of see where my hair was gonna lie, and you wanna push all the hair back from the hairband. It's then important to pull your hair back through the hairband. I know I've done this an odd way, um, just so it sits quite nicely. Now I don't know if there's a name for this, but I just call it chucking your hair in underneath the elastic in any way you can. I think the aim of this style is not to be neat, it's just to be a bit messy, it doesn't have to look perfect, but you simply just tuck all your hair in to the elastic and you wanna do that all the way around the bottom of your head. You just wanna to continue to do this until it's almost all done and you've tucked in all your hair. Um, I think this looks super cool. Um, if there is a name for it, let me know in the comments. Um, but I did this once um, and I really, really liked it. And then I just kind of pin bits in place if I'm not happy with them. Just make sure it's all sitting quite nicely. But again, I think it just looks really nice, quite messy looking. But I also think this looks kind of formal. It looks like you could have actually spent quite a long time doing it. And there you go. Finished. Now 
we are on to the last hairstyle, which I do a lot. It's basically a messy high pony. Um, so I always find it easiest actually to tip my head forward to get the um, ponytail in the right position on the top of my head. And to cover the actual hairband, I use a tiny strand of the hair from the ponytail and just simply wrap that around. I also think this looks quite nice um, and because I have my fringe that's a bit short, it kind of normally sticks up a little crazy looking. I then think you can either leave it that way or you can use um, a hair accessory. So I've got a little bandana here which I am loving right now and you just kind of want to tie that into a knot and I do a double knot on there and it just adds a bit, a bit of something to it really. And there you go, that's pretty simple and very very quick. that this helped some of you and kind of gave you a little bit of inspiration and a few ideas on how to do your hair very quickly if you are in a rush somewhere. I know I use these hairstyles a lot. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you ever want anything else similar to this or if I ever come up with any more quick hairstyles then I'll be sure to film it for you if that's something that you want. Why can't I say things? Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you again very soon.